Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are doing a Lenormand card spread. Uh, we have five decks here and the question we're asking is what does your loved one want to say to you? So what is it that they want to say to you but they're just not able to say to you at this moment? And uh, you to participate in this reading you can choose either deck one, two, three, four or five the timestamps are down below and uh, we will go right into it. Okay, so you can take, you can pause this video if you haven't uh, decided as yet and I'm going to go ahead and start the video. Okay, so if you've chosen deck number one, which is this deck, uh, the question we're asking is, what does he or she, what does the one I love want to say to me, but is not able to say to me? So what is the one I love, what does the one I love want to say to me, but is not able to say to me? Okay. Is there anything else that... The one I love wants to say to me. For those of you watching this video. Okay, so we, let's begin with these cards. Okay, so immediately I see here a um, an attraction. There's an attraction which they dream about, an attraction which they uh, fantasize about, and... Um, which they, they're, they're feelings here. This person has feelings for you. They're deep feelings that they have for you. Uh, they, they, it is true, this is something that they're not able to speak about, not able to come forth with and just speak out loud about. Um, they're hoping that their fantasies could come to fruition, but I don't see them actually being able to do something about it. This is a fantasy for them more than it is some kind of reality so in fact what they want to say to you is yes i i think you you wonderful i think you uh you you have the spirit of of the purity of a um of of person of a person you have this um you have this uh, pure spirit yeah and i'm really highly attracted to you and i'm dreaming about you i'm wishing that we could be together. I'm wishing that I could be with you in this way. I'm wishing I could be intimate with you. Um, I'm fantasizing about that. I'm wishing, I'm dreaming for it. And uh, these, this attraction that I have for you is turning into feelings. It's not just an attraction. It's turning into some kind of feelings that I have for you. So um, let's see if this person is going to take any action towards you. So we're just asking if um, they intend to take any action towards the current. Okay, so what we have here is, um, as mentioned, we have the we have the attraction that's felt. We have the um, wish, the, the hope that it can be, and we have it turning to feelings. But what I see here is that it's a secret. It's a secret that they are almost committed to, that they are unable to, that they it's, they are committed to keeping this a secret. Yeah, they committed to keeping this a secret. They are they enjoy watching you from afar. They enjoy n almost being deceptive about um, about their feelings. They don't really want to go ahead and, and discuss their feelings with you. They'd rather be uh, a bit quiet about it and not really speaking about it, not really honest about it. And so I don't think that they're going to actually take uh, take an action towards you anytime soon because what I'm seeing here is that they are sort of committed to the the secret uh, that they have um, 
they committed to, to the secret and it's almost as if they enjoy uh, being in the state where they can just fantasize about you and um, it's almost as if you know they could be in another kind of relationship and be um, um, this this fantasy that they have for you these feelings that they're developing for you is stealing almost it's stealing away it's betraying it could also be that uh, they are not supposed to be having these feelings for you they have some kind of professional relationship with you uh, and or um, you know and they but they have this desire for you nevertheless and this is therefore uh, something that they cannot act upon or they're not able to to bring it to reality i just want to see if um i want i want to just ask him what the outcome of this uh relationship will be or the outcome of this the situation will be for you Okay, so here I see that the outcome is that um, what's likely to happen in the future, and I would say this would be the near future, um, like within the between now and the end of the year, or between now and the end of January. Uh, if you're watching this video, if you're watching this video sometime in the future, then it's within the next three months that this is likely to happen. So I think there will be a chance meeting, like you're bump into each other or there is a chance that you will meet with each other somewhere you will have the luck of meeting with each other and uh, it'll be somewhere where there are other people it'll be somewhere which is outside perhaps a public place it could be a place which is where there where there's a function and an event uh, it, it will it would be a place where there are other people and at this and then I feel that there is a, a chance of a relationship taking off or there then there is a chance of a, of this situation being moved, so as to say, the situation moving into another phase. And uh, I always read this card as being a, a relationship or a partnership that's being that's forming. And uh, I know people read it in, in different ways, uh, but that's my way of reading it. So when I read this, I, I would say that there's this person, what they're not telling you right now is that they are actually very they're lusting after you they have this great attraction after you they fantasizing about you and hoping that they could that they could be with you in this way and uh, and this is this attraction is developing into feelings but they need to keep it hidden at the moment and they committed to doing so because um it would be it's it's somewhat um because admitting it would be a deception or admitting it would be a betrayal or admitting it would be uh would be would be something false would be dis um there'll be it would re require dishonesty to do to admit it and so they are they they could also be in a in a, another situation they could be married and they therefore they need to keep this attraction secret from you or they could be in another a long-term relationship or they could be a teacher or professor or a, somebody in an official position and they're not really able to tell you how they feel or they could be um, in an official position in that they work with you they're your boss or they're somebody that they that you, you that you have some kind of official uh, dealings with but um, you will have an opportunity you'll have a chance by luck you would have a chance to meet in a social environment and this would give a, you a chance to begin a relationship with each other so thank you for those of you who have chosen uh, the deck number one um, this person wants to say to you that they're thinking about you and they're wishing they could be with you okay so for those of you who've chosen the uh, deck number two We are asking the question, what is the one I love? What does the one I love want to say to me? What is it that they are not saying to me, that they want to say to me? What does my loved one want to say to me? What is the one I'm interested in want to say to me? Okay.
Okay, so there is, um, this is another situation where there's a, uh, an attraction. It's quite a strong attraction. This person has passion for you. They want to meet with you. They are wanting to either write you a text message or write you an email or write you a letter stating that they are attracted to you and they would like to meet with you. Yeah. So what is it that they are wanting to say to you? It's that they want to meet with you and that they are very attracted to you. So I just want to see um, what action they all take towards you. The Norman cards are not like tarot, you know, you read them very directly. Um, it's very simple. It's a very simple way of reading. Uh, it's, not, it's not a very layered as in uh, tarot cards. So for those of you who are expecting a uh, long a kind of explanations with the Lenormand cards, you don't get it when when one reads Lenormand because it's a very different kind of process. When I read the Grand Tableau, then, uh, then it's more detailed and I can do a reading later this week or perhaps the next week to show you how you can find more depth when you're reading uh, the Norman. But these are just simply straightforward questions that we're asking, which we want the answer of. And so the question we're asking right now is, what action are they going to take towards you? What action are they actually going to take towards you? Okay, so let's see. So this person's hoping, they seems, okay, hoping hmm. all right so this is this type of person is very attracted to you they are vacillating on whether they should write you a note write you a text message ask you out on a date go out with you uh, initiate some kind of meeting with you and they they what action they're going to take well they're going to dream about it they can dream about it and wish that it could come true and fantasize about it and just wish that it can come true. I see that they could um, they could come your way. They could try to come closer to you. They could come to you and, uh, and uh, try to be closer to you in some way. But I don't see them actually asking you out. I think that what they'll try to do is be close to you in some kind of way and uh, spend a bit of time with you or uh, try to do something fun with you or try to enjoy the time that they spend with you. They'll try to perhaps make you laugh or make you happy or uh, they'll want to see your smile and they may also the action that they may take towards you they may also behave sometimes in a way that is you know very loving and very warm and but then they may kind of pretend uh, they may kind of ignore you or, or sort of do something that makes you feel punished in some way like they may ignore you or they may pull away or they, they may be very loving and then they pull away and it's something that has um, that they it's it's because the the sense that I get from this person is it's because they're very shy, and they actually don't know how to express their attraction to you. What they wish they could say to you is, "I'd really love to meet with you because I'm very attracted to you, and I want to have a passionate encounter with you." Uh, and they would like to say that to you. They wish they could just say that to you. But they don't have the courage to be able to do that. So they, they're wishing and then they will try to be close to you and, you know, spend a bit of time with you, make you laugh. Uh, they'll enjoy seeing your smile. And then they will um, they will also like pretend some, that they don't have these feelings. They will pretend that they don't have these feelings because they're ashamed of it or they feel too shy to be able to, to say it. Okay, so I want to put out a couple more cards for you to see um, what will be the outcome of the situation. Because as I said, I feel that somebody has a great attraction to you, but is quite shy and they beat around the bush. They try to not show you their emotions uh, because they think they'll come across as being foolish. So sometimes they push you away. So what will be the outcome of the situation? Okay, so these are really positive uh, cards here. 
what I see is that um, after, after some time of them going back and forth and coming back and forth and not really sure of how to be able to approach the situation and how to approach you, that they will find the strength to be able to um, give you a gift, or show you how they feel, uh, to be able to do something that's really pleasant, something that's really kind, maybe literally give you some flowers, but I feel it's more like they'll give you a gift of some sort. They'll let you know in some way uh, how they actually feel about you. And in doing so, um, uh, they will also let you know that they are committed to being with you. And it feels like they will, like the love will blossom yeah, so I feel that you will be together, actually. This person that you are interested in being with, you will be together with this person in a relationship, ultimately. It's just that you have to have a little bit of patience with them because they're not sure how to come forth. They're quite unsure of themselves and they feel very nervous around you. You know, you make them really excited, but they, they feel nervous as a result. Okay, so thank you for those of you who've chosen the pile number two. For those of you who've chosen uh, this deck here, the pile number three, the question we're asking today is, what is it that they want to say to you? What is it that they actually want to say to you? Oops, I just don't feel I'm ready, so I'm not putting them out at the moment. What is it that they want to say to you that they are not able to completely be say quite honestly they're not able to come up front and say what they really feel so what is it that they want to say but they're not able to say to you okay so there it is here what they want to say to you actually is that they there's a distance between you and it's eating them up it's causing them sorrow there is um, this there is the sense that you are apart from each other or they have to travel away from you or you don't live in the same um, in the same kind of district or he travels, or she travels quite a lot, or you travel quite a lot. And when you're away, or when you're apart from each other, quite frankly, uh, it's eating them up. It's making them, it's making, it's gnawing away at them. It, it causes them anxiety. It causes them worry. It causes them depression. It makes them sad. It, it, it clouds their emotions. And. This is something that they 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 have trouble saying to you. So I want to ask, what action are they going to take towards you? What action are they going to take towards you? Yeah. So, um, hmm. this card wanted to come out here. So um, the action that they want to take towards you is they're going to carry this burden. They're going to carry this burden uh, as it's part of the relationship. That's how they see it. They see that this situation is a part of the relationship and therefore they will take on this burden as part of the, the relationship and they are supported. They, they draw their strength from the attraction that they have for you from the passion that exists in the relationship, from the interest that they have in you, because they view you as as, as somebody worthwhile, as somebody worth this pain and worth this struggle, worth this, it's not a struggle as such, it's more like a suffering, like a silent suffering that they have. And so they're willing to take on this burden. They're willing to um, find the strength within themselves to be able to carry this this burden which they feel is of the distance that you have. Uh, this is not always a for geographical distance. It could be a distance that maybe you haven't spoken to each other in a long time. 
and it's eating them away but they don't really know how to come forth and um, it could also be that and it's it's clouding their judgment and so they don't really know how to come forth and this is a burden for them to carry um, but they still this attraction and they find strength within this attraction to be able to to work up on the, this relationship to be able to maintain this relationship on some level um, just want to ask what the outcome of this relationship is for you what is the outcome of this relationship for this person for the what is the outcome of the relationship for the people who are watching the deck number three what is it okay there are two cards that want to come here as well okay so uh, what is it that they're cutting away what is it that they want what is it that they're cutting away here what is it that they're cutting away all right, so um, this is interesting. So I see here that in the long term, you will have a loyal relationship with each other and it will be a long committed relationship. It will be something where you believe, um, where you can actually build upon something. It'll be something that will, you'll, you'll have a reputation of being together. You'll have a legacy of being together. You will draw upon this and it will be based on friendship and loyalty. And you'll be cutting away the uncertainty. You'll be cutting away the uncertainty that's caused by the clouds, uh, that's clouded the emotions, that clouded the light of your relationship, that, that actually took away the, the harmony of the feelings that you have for, for each other. So this is actually quite positive. For me, uh, when I look at this, um, I would say that the type of people watching have chosen the, the, the pile number three or, or this pile here are people who are who met somebody perhaps online or who has who's met somebody ne not necessarily online, but you're at a distance from each other and uh, you're looking forward to being with each other and your partner is really are struggling with the fact that you are apart from each other and they're really looking forward to being passionate with you to having a passionate encounter with you to being able to be intimate with you to be close to you to be in a relationship with you to be able to do daily things in a relationship with you and that you are going to work towards this and this is going to finally take away this, uh, this the clouds that you have here and here and this is the moon card but it talks about the emotions but in this particular card it shows me very much that there are lots of clouds around this moon, you know, there's lots of uncertainty about these feelings, uh, or rather, it's a lot of, uh, there are the feelings which are clear, but there's all this worry and, and around it. And so, but there is a path to it, there's one way to it, and you will come to it. And I think that when you are in it, you'll be in a long-term devoted relationship with each other. Hmm. So thank you for those of you who've chosen the pile number three. Uh, I wonder if that resonated with you. Do let me know if it does. Okay, so um, for those of you who've chosen the, the deck number or the pile number four, we are asking the question today. I'm just going to put this back because I haven't asked the question as yet. The question we're asking today is what um what is it that they want to say to you that they're unable to say to you what is it that they want to say to you of which they are unable to say to you what is it oops So here we have uh, as well a meeting, a letter, so and the and the birds. So there is communication here, and I think that perhaps this person um, is very this person is very keen on chatting with you, communicating with you, and uh, and being with you. They want to see you. They really want to see you. And what they want to say to you is that they're sending out an invitation for you to meet with them. So shortly you will receive an invitation to meet with them and to be with them and um, that they are thinking about you, they're thinking about being with you, they're wanting to chat with you, they they really want to spend time with you, they want to meet with you, they want to do something with you. 
So what action are they going to take towards you? I'm just want to that year it seems like there is action already there is action that's taking place the chattering of the birds the letter that's coming through this is action i'm just going to ask you but this is what they want to say to you so the question i'm going to ask now is what action are they actually going to take towards you Okay, so we, here we have this person, it's a male, who's presenting themselves and they're presenting their love and they're presenting their loyalty and their happiness and their devotion. But at the same time, there's uncertainty here. There's something that is not being told. They want to come forth and, and, and tell you that they want to meet you and meet with you. But it seems that they are, there's something that they, they're not able to say to you. They're not able to, to tell you. But I'm seeing that here as an action that they'll take towards you. So I'm not sure if they are betraying another to be with you. Or um, they are actually wanting to be dishonest about something about their lives, about where they live, about what they do, about who they really are. Perhaps it's because they don't really trust that you will accept them as they are. Um, I want to just get some clarity around this card. What is it that we need to know about the snake card that's here? Okay. So this shows me that the lies that they have is coming to light. This shows me when these cards come together, I read them as the, the lies or the deception or what they're not telling you is coming to light. So the action that they're going to take towards you, they're going to initiate a meeting. They're going to give their loyalty towards you. And they are going to be there. They're going to actually be there. And they're going to tell you what they haven't been able to tell you before. So they see themselves chattering with you. And that's actually what they're going to be doing. They're going to be talking to you, telling you about what it is that they haven't been able to say to you before. You're going to be learning something new about this person. Okay. What is the future of this um, relationship? What is the future of this encounter that you will have? or this situation that you have with your loved one. Okay, so there are two, um, this, you know, there are lots of people watching this and uh, it will mean different things to different people. And these cards can be read in two ways. So the one is that there will be uh, an ending because this person will either move or you will leave and there will be a new beginning. And there could be a new beginning with somebody else. So it could be that there will be an ending with this person. You will move away from each other, either geographically or physically. Um, and there will be a new beginning that you will have with another person. Okay. Also, the, the, another way of reading this is that um, there will be a transformation here where this person will come across the seas to be with you. Uh, they will move to you. They will be with you. And that will lead to a new beginning. So if this person is at a distance from you, uh, it's likely that they will come across that distance to start a new beginning with you. Alternatively, one could also read it as... Uh, there is, um, there is, will be a transformation that's taking place as a result of these lies coming to uh, the fore, or these what was not said before coming to the fore. And this would lead you to uh, moving you to moving away from this person and starting anew. This could also relate to those of you who have kids. This could also relate to your kids. So. Uh, it's almost like there's an ending of that relationship and a moving towards the uh, the child or towards the, the your concentration as a parent. Although I feel that's not really true for most of you. I feel that that, that last explanation is just for a few of you. Um, 
Yeah, so in this reading, what, what are they not saying to you? What is it that they want to say to you? Is that they're coming forth. They are coming forth with a message. That's definitely the case. They want to talk to you. They want to share something with you. They want to uh, meet with you. And they are going to present themselves as a loyal person here. They're going to present their love. They're going to present their loyalty. But at the same time, they're going to present something which they haven't been able to share with you. It could have to do with another person here. And this is going to bring something to light. Um, yeah, this... this uh, this could mean, this is a card of transformation, it's also a card of death, it's also a card of, um, uh, it could also mean some kind of loss, so to say. And But I don't feel that it will end on a loss, because I feel that you will have some something here that you could, you will, you will have this travel, you'll have this child, you will have something here that will actually be of, of use, of value to you. I just want to ask one more question about this person in you. What will be the final outcome of this person in you? Okay, so I'm receiving, I'm getting the strength card here. And the strength card um, talks more about you having to be strong, or they having to be strong. strong. It can also talk of sometimes of jealousy. Um, Okay, so yeah, I do feel that um, even though there's this loyalty and this love that's coming through here, there's something else that you don't know about this relationship, which you're going to learn from about. And as a result, this will, this will lead you to having to make a decision about this, um, this relationship. It's as if they, it's, it's either that it ends or that you start an over new, it transforms and there's a new beginning. And if it is, then that's a positive new beginning and that you find the strength to be able to come the, the burdens of the past. If not, if you end this and you move away from this person and you start off with somebody else, there will be, there's, there's almost a sense of jealousy or a sense of a burden to carry with the love that you still have for this other person here and maybe them having moved on as well. So um, I think that this is pivotal for you, the fact that this information is coming to light here. And it's important to note that this person has actually love for you. Um, but also important to, um, to note that this doesn't come without difficulties. Of course, these difficulties can be overcome. And this is why we do these readings. It's rather to be able to foresee what, what, is, what is ahead of us so that we can prepare ourselves for what is to come. So I wish you uh, a lot of luck and um, I hope that uh, those of you who have chosen this pile uh, actually find what you're looking for in your relationship and that you don't have a difficulty in it. For those of you who have chosen the pile number five, the deck number five, the question we're asking today is, what is it that they want to say to you? What do they want to say to you? What is it that they haven't said to you that they want to say to you, but they're unable to come forth and just say it? Okay, um, basically what they want to say to you is that there's a message coming forth to you. They want to send you a message of love. They want to send you a message of their love, which has been long lasting, that's been there for a while, that has the potential to be even longer lasting, that has the potential to be there for a long, long, long time. Um, that is the, the what, what they want to say to you here. It They want to talk about this love which is this burning fire that they have um, and the attraction that they have and where this can go. So I think what they want to say to you is basically that they love you 
and that they have uh, a great attraction for you and that they would like to and if, if those of you read Lenormand and you're wondering why am I talking about an attraction it's because in this deck I'm seeing these bunnies here and there are two of them and they're looking at each other quite lustfully and so um, there's also these birds in this tree and it, it symbolizes fertility it's not just uh, uh, about a legacy and so what I'm seeing here is uh, this person wanting to write you a letter telling you about their love that has been there for a long time. It's been there for a, a fair amount of time now and they have been thinking about you. They do love you and this is real. What action are they going to take towards you? Well, the action that they're going to take towards you is I feel that there will be a move towards you and in doing so they will be cutting away something else. But cutting away what exactly? This they're cutting away the burdens, okay? Cutting away the difficulties in the situation. Okay, so this person is committed to you. They're committed to this love. And they are going to be sending you a message to say that. It's interesting, all of these readings, uh, I think, had a, a, a letter in them. So most of you who are watching this video will actually ha have received a message from your partner or from this person in the next while in the next weeks or months in the near future. I would say this reading doesn't, it's for the next three months. Whenever you watch this reading, it's valid for the next three months or so. So I think it would be, well, this part of it, like the action that they will take towards you in the beginning. And then um, these cards are for what action they'll take toward you in the midterm. And the next cards, the next set of cards are what, uh, what is the long-term outcome of this relationship? Which I'm asking now, what is the long-term outcome of this relationship? Okay, there'll be, you'll be living with each other, you'll be moving into each other, where you'll be in a partnership with each other. Uh, where a decision will be need to be made. A decision will be need to be made. Regarding this person, regarding a man, regarding a person, and the gift. Okay. All right. So the way I read this, this, uh, these cards here, I absolutely adore these cards. By the way, I find them really beautiful. This is the deck. This deck is called the Mystical the Normand, and I love the artwork. So the. Um, there's a message of their eternal love that they're sending to you. There's a move that they're making, at, which is cutting away the burdens that they have. There's In the long term, there'll be a relationship, a settled relationship where you'll be living with each other, where there'll be a decision to be made regarding the gift that this man or this person has to offer you. I just want to get another card of clarity here. Why will they, what, what is this decision that will need to be made? Are you... Are there doubts? Okay. So I do feel that uh, this person loves you quite a lot. They love you more than you realize. And this, these cards here, you'll have to make a decision about the gift that they're offering you. You'll have to make a decision regarding the gift they are offering you here. And you have doubt around this. It's as if you're not really certain about what it is that you want in, in this. Because when they come forth with their, all their love, it's like you take a step back and you, you secretly are not really invested in them as much as they are in you. So this is not to say that you don't love them, you don't, you're not invested in them at all. It's just that they invested in you quite a lot here. A lot, right? They're willing to, to move, to cut away certain the burdens they're willing to take the action to come forth towards you and at the end of the day it's as if you're not really sure of whether you want them or not it's as if um, and therefore you have to make a decision regarding that and I think that you know your decision is based on your free will but they are offering you a gift and you find yourself settled with them and perhaps even having children with them that is a possibility for those of you who are still in the childbearing years Yeah, but they definitely are sending you a message of love. So for those of you who have chosen the deck number five, that was your reading. 
and hopefully that made sense to you and answered the question that you had. So, um, yes, so I want to thank you for coming by today and uh, wish you very well. And thank you for passing by my channel and thank you for those of you who have subscribed and thank you for the likes and uh, the comments and I, I do appreciate very much all, all the, uh, the, the, the uh, feedback that you give me and um, yeah, I wish you very well in your love lives and in your lives in general. So uh, that's for me, from me, it's thank you and blessings abound.